if you want a scholarship next year, this is a time for you to apply for open scholarships. There are many big, big scholarships which are open now. So we have been going through many scholarships and now we are going to go for a giant scholarship, Commonwealth Scholarship. I want to attract your attention on this scholarship. If you are dreaming to have a scholarship, please don't ignore this scholarship. Uh, the biggest part on this scholarship is to fill the application form. That's why. So I have taken two hours to study and fill this application form. And I'm going now to explain to you in just less than 10 minutes how to fill this application form. And I'm sure at the end of this video, you will be able to fill your application form for yourself in the correct way and in an easy way. So you go here on online system, how to apply. You check your country, then you go next. From here, you will get your credentials. So you have to open if you are new. For me, I'm a return user. So if you are new, you have to, to fill in. Then when you press submit, uh, for me, I made the application already. That's what I was telling you before because I spent many hours just free, give me credit for this hard job. Let's go. So the first you enter your country. So my country was Rwanda. When you put on Rwanda, so they refer yourself to uh, Rwandan page. So, okay, you put your country, depending on which country. So you say yes, that you are able to attend this school in 2024. That's easier. And you choose which uh, nominating agent you have. So check in your country which are the nominating agents. For me, it's High Education Council. So then you go next. Um, here is, this is my ID. You kept your email. But ask if this is your correct email. I said yes, it's correct. And here on this page is filling in your address. So you fill in your address, your permanent address, your date of birth, your sex. That's one of easiest, so you can do it. Uh, the second, they're asking if you are currently in university. So for me, I suppose that I have graduated. If you say yes, make sure you will get your degree before the starting of the program. Publication and prizes, this is something important but if you don't have any application if you have any price so that's okay uh, for me i have one publication i fill it here if you have more than one you can fill up to 10 so for me it was one if not just say not applicable and you keep going so the next I hope you are understanding. So if there is any step where I have been going very fast, so you can type in a comment, I can just come back. Uh, so this is employment. Regarding employment, so you see which sector you are working on. It's a risk here, Energy, NGO, private sector, public government, if depending on where you are working now. Uh, so below you will say, your employer, which company are you working in? What is your, your title, job title? For me is research, I'm a researcher. When did you start this, this current job? Until when? So here it was till now. Uh, which country? For me was Rwanda. And so uh, here you put your main responsibility. Uh, references, so this is Reference list for me, I put three. One was one of my lecturer. You say which kind of job he occupied university. It's better if we have a, some kind of jobs. Uh, you put the email address. They send him a email. What's your relationship with your referent? It's he's my supervisor. He's my lecturer. He's my boss. So this kind of ref, uh, relationship. Okay, development impact. To choose which scheme that fit your 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 application, your kind of application. So for mine was fitting in science and technology development. Uh, what is the sustainable development goal? So for me, it's no poverty because I'm working with something related to 
poverty because it's I mean agriculture uh, second sustainable development goal it's climate action so my agriculture was more focusing on climate action the third sustainable goal is human health and well-being so this you can choose depending on which program and what are you applying to so you check here i can even fit in zero hunger because it's in agriculture if your application your program is public health so you can go in health so we have it up to you to check and choose so the first you have to explain how is your proposed study so first of all you have to choose what you want study explain how uh your study is related to development issue on global, national, and local level. So how is your, your program related to development at global or local level? Development, which is the, the issue that is connected to this scholarship. So in this one, you have to explain my proposed program. How is it related to the objective of this scholarship, which is a development? How will this help in development? So for me, it was in agriculture. So I explained how this will help on a in global, in local level with development. What would be the impact? So this is something you have to think and see if you are looking for agriculture, show how this will impact development in on a global scale, national or local. So think which issue you are going to solve or all this stage so this is what i said here the point number two is to explain the impact on how you intend to apply new skills and qualification while returning home so depending on your program check which issue you're going to solve in your country for me because i'm in agriculture i elaborate different issues and weaknesses that have in my country like poverty improving nutrition, uh, finding varieties which can can resist climate change. So then I explain how I'm going to use these skills to contribute in development of my country. So remember, the objective for this scholarship is to go back and apply the new skills. So show that you, you know what you want and how you wish this way contribute to the country development. On number three, so in number three, you we're going to explain which out outcome you want to achieve, the time frame of the implementation, and who will be the benef the beneficiary of that uh, the outcome. So you have been a student, you have many skills. Then explain what will be the outcome. So what are you going to do in your country, and how? What the time frame? So after many years, how many years you want to? implement your skills and you give uh, you get a tangible result and who is going to be to benefit malnutrition eradication so that's your out uh, the achievement you want to achieve then time frame how long will it take so with the initial review you're going to take and how long it's in five years what will you do in those five years and who is going to be to benefit it's children under five years old, under two years old or five. So depending on which age range you take. So then you explain. So this is how this kind of essays have to be done and take time and really be on point. Uh, it's number four. So on number four, you are going to share, to give the indicators and details of how the, the impact of your skills or your work will be measured in your, uh, in your community. So this is something that we have to really explain. So if you say you're going to, like, let's say on our example. So we say you're going to work on eradication or decreasing malnutrition under uh, two or under five years children in your community. So then... So, so what is the impact? How will the impact be measured? So you say after 10 years, this kind of number of children will be, will be, uh, will benefit and the malnutrition will decrease from, from 10% to 
to 7% and which period. This is something you have to think about and be more realistic. Don't give miracles. So, so elaborate which are the indicators, the influence and how someone can measure your impact. Then this is another assets that are also a little bit wider than the first one. So this is on this level, you describe the skills you expect to gain about this scholarship. So take your program and think what is the objective for this program. Then the objective for that program will be what you expect from the program. Go on the program website. You see what is the objective for this program. Let's see the objective for the program you are applying to is is climate change mitigation or something related to that so check the objective then align those objectives with what you expect from the program then you give your career plan when you return to home country after uh after elaborating your your expected your expectation then it's time for you to see what's your plan when you come back home so how you going to implement what you you have run from the program so this is uh, i can give you this this my essay just for for just to use this as an example the second uh, essay on this is your career plan for five years from this award so what is your plan in five years after your award this is something very interesting so but for me i was more uh thinking about research so during my two years my second year i elaborated what plan i have what i want to achieve so for me i was thinking to finish other postgraduate training after this master's then when i come back uh, I will also be involved in collaboration with government, non-government organization. And after, after my fourth to five years, I will be now on leadership roles, just in academic, in agricultural research. So this is something you have to think depending on your program. So that was for my program. So think what you want to achieve in five years. Probably you want to have a PhD. So this is something also you can explain. I will have a PhD, a PhD position in this area. Then you say, I will start with this kind of research I'm interested in. So you explain. If you want to go back home, so see your current position, then elaborate what you want to, to contribute and what you want to achieve in five years. So this is something you don't have to exaggerate just show that you know what you are expecting not just taking a random program then this is a long term career okay so let's give me one example for my case so for long term plan i want to first of all have my phd so it will take more than five years or more than also about six years depend on when I get a PhD then uh, when I finish my PhD I will participate in sustainable agriculture initiative initiative so I'll be involved in different projects actively participate in international agriculture researches network and collaboration so this will be at the end when I have more experience then I will expand my impact, not in my country, not in my university, but at international level. This is a kind of uh, wrong term, wrong term plan. So think about something big, big and who you want to be in the future. Propose study in the UK. So this is you choose course one, you choose which first university, second university and third university. As I said before, please make sure you take the same related courses. If we did uh, mathematics in bachelor, so check master's course which are related to mathematics. If you did accounting, so choose three different universities, different programs which are related to accounting. So don't look like a scam that have 
narrated programs so that's what i say let's go study outline so you you give the outline of your post your proposed study or research so this is you write something very simple explaining what kind of research you want to do and here it's explained make sure that it's easy to understand for someone who is not in your field make it readable it's not a research proposal it's say what you want to do so for me uh i said that my research is to address urgent global challenge food securities so go in easy and uh a simple way crop adaptation so i will study crop adopt to changing climate change condition uh adopt some kind of breeding genetic improving agricultural practices those are kind of that's what my research will focus on and you see that's something that anyone can understand never put complicated terms or be more technical as they said uh so the second so on this point you are going to explain why you choose this kind of course so why you choose this program why you choose that university and what kind of research that you have in your mind this is an example i can share this to you and please take your time read this introduction and work do everything according to it so this is one of my example so explain we want to pass through this program why you choose uk why you choose that university and what kind of dissertation you are looking for or you want to do so and here there is something which is so important you give three keywords summary of your proposed study so this is something which is not simple anyone can judge you so see what keywords what are the three keywords if we say those three words anyone we understand we know which kind of research you want to do this is for me this is my example i'm doing a research which in agriculture but i'm go working to have more crops which can adapt climate change which can live in a harsh environment so one of my keywords will be sustainable agriculture that's the objective it's one word so if someone wants sustainable agriculture and now he explained genetic adaptation so having crops which can adapt genetically crop resilience plant which can resist so think something three words that can give overview of your studies and remember they said this has to be something that you can explain to someone who doesn't know that field but once he saw the words can know okay this guy held up you know what he is doing so take time be like you are making a research proposal then you see which are the two important keywords so this is uh for the first statement is personal statement so the objective for this scholarship or the this program is to encourage people to overcome some barriers or to encourage underrepresented people in different field so and for you they asking give summary of which your personal background has encouraged you to make impact in your home country so what you have been facing when you were young in your community and that have been giving you more pushing forward to achieve what you have done in your country okay on this point you want to explain and show people that you have uh, a certain responsibility a certain role in your community so for me i used to say that I have been uh active in different uh voluntary activities and explain how was the impact of your volunteerism and explain how you have been um uh, a reader you have shown your readership experience and what was the impact i have been reading some kind of uh youth activities at school after school i have done this i've been supervising people so explain kind of readership that you have so and everyone have this kind of readership skills so 
please explain yourself better okay we are almost 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 at the end so here you attach your document passport transcript degree university offer letter so if you have offer from the university you attach this uh, and reference so you scan three references then you upload all of them in one document so this is something you have to they don't have they don't ask more complicated document they're easier in three this is they ask how many years you have been living in your home country in your country of residence so for me it's five, 25 years ethnicity you can say or not religion you can say religion or not this is something not that important uh it's where you you are single divorce or so for me it's this you have a child so if you have a child please say it now because you know there's child allowance so for me it's no have you any caring responsibility so this is kind of if you are having any caring responsibility there's some dependent on you so you have to say this it will help and if we have kind of uh, disability so don't be shy put it here and uh, just go for the history of your family so just be honest if your dad is working say it if he's retired if he's not working so that's something you can fear in tick what fits better compared to other local community do you consider your family very poor wealth moderate wealth average so you can choose but if it's well maybe they can give a chance to someone who have a poor family so this is up to you uh check formation how did you find about this scholarship so you can check if you get it from from me please give me some credit take others say opportunity hub if you get information from me please give me some credit please uh what source did you find more about scholarship so this is something important for this general accept terms and conditions so this is something just ticking then you fill in the date and you click next then your application is almost done have you submitted your application no then for you, you click yes 